What's going on, my lovely Muppets over there? How you doing? Of course, you know that Muppet is a term of endearment on this channel, unless you're being a very volatile Muppet. Then it means what it means. But welcome back to the channel. Um, I just got done doing the live stream, thanking you all, and I'm going to do it again. Thank you so much for 50,000 subscribers. What a milestone. <clears throat> it's always a pleasure interacting with you guys from the English-speaking world. It is such a pleasure, and I love it. I love interacting with you guys, and um, thank you so much for the super chats, for everyone who donated a super chat. You guys don't have to do that, but a lot of you did, and um, it really um, struck a chord in me. It really did. Uh, I love doing this channel. It's a real pleasure, and I get to interact with people from outside of my own country. So, it always makes me smile whenever I interact with you guys. So, thank you so much. I'm doing this one because in the live stream, somebody put up, sorry, I just ate, I got belching a little bit. But, uh, somebody in the live stream put up a very generous super chat requesting that I react to um, more Lee Evans. So, here we are. Lee Evans, this guy, the I've done... A couple of reactions to him. I haven't done one in a long time, but uh, his energy is unparalleled. It looks like in the, in the thumbnail, he's already looks like he's been at this in this particular one for a while because he's sweating profusely, and um, his um, the, how animated he is. He always makes me laugh hysterically, so I'm expecting to get a couple good laughs out of this one. Uh, the title of this one is Police Horses and Spotting Murderers. So, I don't think I've done this one. Um, if I have done this one f before, I apologize. But at this point, I probably forgot um, exactly what he said in this. I just remember he's really animated and he's really funny. But uh, here we go. This is Lee Evans. Let's see what I think of this one. Um, he's always great, so I, I know I'm getting a good one out of, out of Mr. Lee Evans. So here we go, folks. I see that sometimes on the road. You ever see that? That van with that sign on the back, dog unit. I always think I'm going to pull up alongside of it. Big fucking Alsatian driving, eh? <laughs> you know, fur rolled up, fag on her. <laughs> I don't get the police dog thing. They always train those dogs to weave really fast between a row of traffic cones, step over tiny hurdles, sit when told, and run through that dog tunnel. What's the point in teaching those dogs to do that? When have you ever seen a major bank job and the robbers burst out the bank and go, <laughs> Okay, let's go, 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 go! <laughs> See what I mean? His energy is unparalleled, man. He is, uh... I would kill to have... I mean, I'm probably way younger than he is at this point, and I would kill to have that kind of energy. Uh, it makes me jealous. I feel sorry for the police. Sometimes they're at a disadvantage. Like sometimes you'll see a policeman on horseback in the middle of the town. Whose idea was it to put a cop on a horse in the middle of a major city? I mean, we got cars now. It's not the 1700s. That's so How true. How does that work? There's a copper sat on a horse, right? A car goes past. <sighs> we got a joy rider. Let's go, champion! <laughs> Horses like wee, wee. <laughs> well, you don't have an unmarked horse, do you? <laughs> His face, dude. You know with a plain clothes copper on top, trying to blend in outside Tesco's. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, this dude's crazy. I don't think anyone's noticed. <laughs> See, they use the big horses for the big crimes. In that case, they should use Shetland ponies for community policing. <laughs> That'd be good, wouldn't it? Some kids playing football on the field, a copper turns up. Ah, you're not allowed to play football on that fucking field. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, his... I mean, he, he... Lee Evans is one of those guys, he could, he could not even tell jokes. He'd just go up up there act, acting like a freaking mime. And I would be dying laughing because of how animated he is in doing his bits. That stuff about the horses, though, I mean, I've seen horses in um, cities here in the States, and I, you know, 
with cops on top of them. And that perplexes me, too. It's like, what are you going to do when something goes down? You're going to ride the horse, like, through the glass window and into the bar to break up a fight? Like, you know, I don't know what the purpose is. Maybe it's just to look cool. It's 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 inane to me. I, I don't know why they continue to have cops on horses because, you know, I, I've seen them... I even saw a couple of cops on horses in West Palm Beach here in Florida, um, where I'm from. There's still they still have policemen on horses in in Baltimore. Sometimes it's it's strange. I, d- I don't know what the purpose is, but um, if if it's just to look cool or scary, fair enough. Um, you know, I guess you, you you kind of got that one, but uh, that that's puzzled me too. So I. I I do understand. I, I like how he's complaining about it because I don't get it either. Stop you know, real cop up hey, to me, you little bastard. <laughs> I mean, why are they still using horses? It's ridiculous. That's right. Offers are down. Send back up. Offers are down. <laughs> Sending a pigeon out? Wait, what do you say? Wait there. <laughs> it's like police sirens. What's going on with police sirens these days? It used to be just two notes. Da, 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 da. These new ones, they sound like your nan after she just heard a bit of bad news. Ooh. <laughs> Look at how much he's sweating, man. <laughs> Better change the old ones because it always sounded like giving up as it had gone past. It was like da 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 da. <laughs> I like the modern ones when they get stuck in traffic. Have you heard them when they do that? <laughs> it's fucking brilliant. As soon as one of those modern police cars gets stuck in traffic, it's like wee wee wee. He's like a cockatoo, man. <laughs> That's what he reminds me of. He reminds me of a fucking cockatoo. Um, just uh, marching back and forth on his little peg that he's got in his cage. This dude, is, this this dude is something else. I I would kill to have the energy that Lee Evans has, man. Yeah. He's like he's being touched up by all the other cars, you know. <laughs> 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 oh, that's great. Yeah, that does it does kinda sound like that, you're right. Oh man. <laughs> it's not these new car alarms. What's going on with car alarms these days, you know? It used to be just one sound. Now they got a whole repertoire when they go off. Somebody sets off at three in the morning up your street. You sit there and go, woo, woo. <sighs> Step away from the car, please. Step away from the car. <laughs> please turn up. Woo, woo, woo. Oh, he's wild. Step away from the car, please. Damn, there's a lot of people there, man. The criminal system in this country. You can kill somebody, plead insanity, and get away with it. No, I didn't mean to kill all those people. I'm just a bit mental, that's all. <laughs> He's crazy. Uh, I think somebody mentioned before. Um, He's like he's retired now, um, which is a shame. I I uh, I said this before. So many other. Uh, British comedians, but I wish I could see something like this live, because I would I would love to pay to see this guy. This is, uh, but he apparently he's retired. Um, somebody said that before, and uh, so he hasn't done anything in like a, a long time. Is that right? I'm not sure. Um, which the one thing that I would understand about it is it looks tiring for him. I mean the the, the energy that this guy has is unparalleled. That's alright, I might, I might try that one. Next time I'm pulled over by the police for speeding, he'll be knocking on my window going, 
You know what you into down, sir? I'll be in the corner. He's nuts! He's nuts! He's fucking crazy, man. Yeah, that's a big venue, wow. Good for him. Yeah, you're fucking cool on a speed camera, you know? <laughs> <laughs> that's definitely the Have thought, you know, Whenever some nutcase turns up on the news because he's killed somebody, all his neighbors always say that same ridiculous thing. Well, he didn't show any troubling warning signs. Well, no, of course he didn't, because if he jumped out the bushes and shot you through the head with his own made crossbow, you might have said at that point, you know there's something fucking wrong with that bloke. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it's too late after they killed someone. That's like saying one more violent murder like that, and I'll take that as a fucking warning sign. <laughs> yeah. It's like when they warn us on the news, you know, a prisoner has escaped, and he's on the loose, and we need your help in finding him. And then they say, but do not approach this man, he is highly dangerous. Well, what the fuck do they expect us to do? Right. Right, that's a, such a good point. Yeah, I do not understand that. Be on the lookout for this man. If you see him, find him. But also, if you see him, don't go near him. It's like... I never understood that either. That's a very good point. I mean, you have to be within murdering distance to recognize anybody. You know, you're walking through Birmingham Town Centre, you go, ah, fucking hell, is that that psychopathic killer fella on the news? Yeah. That looks like that fucking nutcase on the nose. <laughs> oh, wait a minute. Let me have a closer look. Hold on. Look at his face. <laughs> <laughs> his face, man. See, now, I thought it was you. Oh, uh, he reminds me so much of uh, Jim Carrey. With all the facial expressions and everything. Um, who do you think has more energy, Jim Carrey or Lee Evans? That that that'd be a good debate. Because both of those guys, the energy. I mean, I guess Jim Carrey's more mellowed now. Well, maybe Lee Evans is too, because apparently he doesn't. He's retired, but I mean, I guess when they were in their heyday, who had more energy? That would be a good uh, topic for debate, right there. So they always say that one as well. He was such a quiet man himself very much to himself, bit of a loner actually, yeah, that's because anyone you ever met, he murdered the shit out of him. <laughs> Have you noticed any time there's an incident on the news, the outside reporter bloke turns up, starts interviewing all the neighbours. Have you noticed, there's always boring people, some bloke standing there in a the pole in it going, well, I was in my shed, <laughs> I heard the scream and I came out to see what was happening, you know. But you never see, you never see like a couple, do you, standing there in fucking rubber gear, you know? Well, we're just settling for a serious night of some S&M, isn't that right, mistress? You know, his wife's next to him in a, in a fucking gimp mask, you know? <laughs> yes, and I just said, shut up, you slave, and lick my knees. <laughs> lick my knees? <laughs> what? <laughs> Yo, this dude's crazy. Uh, Lee Evans. Yeah, like I said, I mean... He's his energy is unparalleled. Um, he can make me laugh just by being doing the animated stuff. Like if I watch the same exact video of his stand up and I just hit the mute button and watch it, I'd still probably laugh just as much because it's just <laughs> I'm looking at a thumbnail of his face right now. He's he's so animated, and I'd love you guys know I love goofy shit like that. So he cracks me up, I must say. Um, but that's the question I want to know: Who has more energy? Is it Lee Evans or is it Jim Carrey in their in their heyday, in their prime? Which one do you guys think has more energy? That's a good. I think that'd be a good question to pose. Um. But I, as far as the material, I, I like his um, um, inquiries about police horses and uh, murderers on the loose. Because, I mean, he does have, you know, it raises good questions. Because, you know, I'm still perplexed about why police are, some police are still on horses. Of course, it's like, you know, just a small number of them. But why are they on horses? It, it, I, I don't get it. And then... Uh, 
the, you know, like an escaped murderer thing, you know, like, be on the lookout for him, but don't go anywhere near him. It's like, well, you're going to have to go near him in order to spot him kind of thing. So I like how he raised those two uh, points right there. Very, very, it's, I think this is one of the more interesting Lee Evans ones, but of course he's going to make me laugh um, just from his uh, animated personality and how goofy he is and um, the, the energy that he has is highly impressive. I'm still amazed at how much energy this guy has. A lot of us would kill to have that energy today, I must say. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed that. Like, subscribe, do whatever you guys want. And once again, thank you uh, for helping me reach 50K. Couldn't have done without you. And it's all about you guys. So you guys make this channel what it is. Okay? Um, and y'all have a great day. Stay safe out there. And we'll see you next time in the future for some more reaction videos and other types of videos, perhaps. I don't know. I might do something different coming up. All right, you guys. Have a great day. I'll see you next time. Peace.